What's up, funky people? I'm Iteration Funk, and today we're back in Enigmatica 2 Expert Mood. And it's another one of those pesky Mondays. But you're all here with me, so I think we'll get through it together. Now, since last episode, I made the runic altar and some of these runes, so you wouldn't have to watch it. I'm still gonna do the final runes for the Master Infusion Stone. Like, we need the pride, the sloth. The greed and the gluttony rune, which we'll make on camera, just so I can show this guy off. But the altar recipe wasn't too bad. We just needed to use a mana diamond or a mana pearl surrounded by living rock and a rock crystal to get this altar. So this recipe was altered, but all of the rune recipes is their default recipe, as you can see. So nothing has changed here really. It's just these easy base. Botania recipes. So nothing too harsh there. I also made the Starlight Infuser during the night time. Our Spectral Relay that I set up last episode did the trick, so we had enough uh, Starlight basically. And we'll set this up later so we can get the resonating, the, the resonating gems from here, which we also need for the Master Infusion Crystal. So that's it. I think we'll be able to get it this episode, for example, I have a lot of terra steel I need. So, like all of these things are covered. Uh, we need to do the sparks, do I, have I made sparks? No, I haven't. So, yeah, and that's why I started sifting for blaze powder now, I remember. It's all coming back to me now. So, I need to grab some petals so I can make the sparks. Just gonna take some yellow ones. We had a shit ton of that. So let's make like 12. And yeah, sparks. I have completed some quests here and I will try to remember to come back here later and turn all of that in. But for now we need to make the better runes here. The runes, I guess the scene runes. The pride and the gluttony and all that. Those are after mana. And we won't do lust, we need gluttony, greed, sloth and pride, okay. So that's spring water, and we need a lot of mana diamonds for this. How much do I have? 87, okay. So the first one, mana diamond, fire winter, fire winter. So just put these items on, and these spreaders will pull some mana into this altar. When it's done, we just need a piece of living rock on top to bind the rune, and then we'll use the wand. You can see that green circle to the left needs to be, or to the right, needs to be completely filled first. So, are you gonna be done soon or what? There we go. So, these take a bit more... Hmm. Maybe I want to move these, to be honest. So they get mana from the pool and not from waiting around for the end of flames to give them mana. That would be a bit quicker, I think. So yeah, both are facing the altar. Now we need the greed, which is water and spring. Water. Uh, where's spring? There we go. So yeah, that's a tad quicker. Just gonna drop one of these on. Cool, that's one of those. Then we're going to do the sloth, which is autumn air. And that's those. So yeah, I'll be back once I've done pride as well. And we should be pretty close to being able to do the master infusion crystal. What's pride? Summer fire. I'll prepare that down here. And of course, these runes do not get consumed in the process, so you can see we still have like two of each, except for fire, which is on the table at the moment. But we got it back here. So yeah, I think that's everything we need. Now we need to set up the 
Starlight Infusion Multi-Block. Oh man. FP spikes. Still need to move a lot of stuff to compacting machines for this to not lag. I think we'll temporarily... Hmm. Where do I want you? Maybe I'll make the attunement altar somewhere else. I'll just move these projectors for now and I'll put this multi-block next to our actual crafting thing here. So these runes I can put away. We don't need them right now. And let's make one of these. We'll need them later. So what's this called? Astral Sorcery. Um, <laughs> Starlight Infuser, yeah. Wait. I did not remember it being this large. And it did require a containment chalice. That's weird. Hmm. So I wonder if we can build this out without the containment chalice? Probably. So we need a lapis lazuli block. Oh, we need buckets in our inventory. Then maybe I need to put some of this stuff away so I have <laughs> space for 12. And I don't have that many buckets. Let's see. Let's grab 12 buckets. And I did set up some more light wells with aquamarines so I actually have a good supply of the stuff. And we can hook up some more here. So let's get 12 buckets. What happened to the sound? Hmm. Yeah, weird. Anyways, what else? We need the engraved marble, the marble arches, pillars, and... Okay, so a lot of marble. So the pillars arches. I need some more ruined. <coughs> Excuse me. I need some more ruined. So let's make the ruined real quick. And we needed a lapis Suli block. And apparently engraved as well, which I don't have. Hmm. Bummer. Let's grab these four. I think it was four. There we go. And of course, we should probably align this with this structure. Yeah, that's centered. And this is one. Okay, so you'll probably go like so then. Yeah, that sounds good. That looks good enough. Put the printer on. I wonder what it will do with buckets. Okay, so it does not place the buckets manually. But all of the other stuff is done, so we just need to fill the blanks here. And you, when you're crafting with the starlight infuser, there's a there's a risk of it consuming one source block here. But if there's a containment chalice, it will take uh, liquid from that before the source block. So kind of want a containment chalice that makes this a whole lot easier. But we don't have an iridescent altar yet, and we won't for a while. So it's good as is for now. So whenever one of these source blocks gets removed, we can just refill them. Now we need one of these. Uh, hello? Is this structure not good? Wait. Ah. Oh. Now I think I made a mistake here. Hmm, that's interesting. There is no blocks under the starlight in this um, schematica version. Let me check the astral tom. I think we need some blocks under the source blocks here. Is that under attunement? I do believe no. 
So it's constellation then I suppose. Yeah. We can see here. Oh yeah, we need we need raw marble under those. Which I guess isn't too hard. Uh I guess it's just called marble, because it's not the chiseled version. There we go. And I'll just do this on every side and it should be happy with that. Okay, let's try again. There we go. I knew we <laughs> something was missing and it was. Okay. The one resonating gem, we need four I think for the infusion crystal. Let's take a look. We need four. This is pretty easy to automate later with like users. You can have one user just inserting aquamarines, then another user just right clicking the resonating wand. But you kind of want the chalice for that because this setup will break whenever one of these source blocks gets depleted. Right now it doesn't look like there's any weird breaks in the texture here, so that means all of the source blocks are still intact. I wonder if some of them will get removed now. Maybe? I just wanted to show it, but I guess it does still work. Okay, so that's everything we need for the infusion crystal. And will it happen? No, oh, a spark spawned. I guess a flare. And yeah, no source blocks consumed yet. And these resonating gems, it's almost always worth it to kind of bring them up to resonating before putting them in a light well, if you can. Just lasts longer and has a smaller chance of breaking. Okay, so to assemble this, we can put all of the marble away now, we don't need that. So we need the runes, and it's time to check mana steel. And these go here. And in what order are the runes? Sloth, pride is top. Then I think it's like this, right? No, oh, it's the other way around. And we need the amethyst. Okay, amethyst, then it's the other blocks, like elementium. One block of that, which we get from our recycler, as well as the terra steel, which we get rarely. Like, if we take a look at how much stuff we get. All of the Twilight Forest armors we see a lot of, as well as Mana Steel. But Elementium and Terra Steel is a bit more rare. I think Mana Steel... Yeah, I had done this already. Maybe it was Mana Diamond we were missing? I'll just make one of those. No, I guess so. Uh, okay, so Elementium goes here. And this terrestrial goes down here. Sparks and mana pearls. Now hopefully we don't need more starlight to make this craft. It would be a bit annoying. So pearls. And I think the sparks is up here. Oh. That might prove tricky. We'll just wait around to midnight and see if I have that. If not, I might need to try getting one more spectral relay. I have started upgrading some of my rock crystals to the next tier. And why don't I show that? I think maybe I have one extra rock crystal. Which I don't think will need to set up another spectral relay. I just gotta check that. So I don't mess up. So we have to go out for it again. Yeah, yeah, we're fine. So the way you make these celestial crystals is you need stardust and uh, you need one bucket of this yeah, stardust, one bucket of the starlight and you would do 
It would be better off if you actually block the flow of this off so it doesn't look annoying. So both of those in there and it will turn into a crystal a crystal cluster which will grow in time. And like the purity of the input crystal doesn't really affect the what purity these will be. It's completely random if they are close to a hundred percent purity or not. These are pretty shit, actually. And as you can see, that's a tiny little baby cluster that will grow up in time. Um, kind of leaving the night time now. So, hmm, yeah, I'll stick around just to make sure and see if we can make this. It's a, uh, it's a long shot, because that looks like a lot of starlight, but. This uh, starlight infuser was also quite hefty on the starlight, so maybe we're good. We're gonna stick around for a while. Oh boy, what do we have here? I think this drawer needs a void upgrade. Uh, uh, there we go. And the reason it's like this is because I did tear down magnesium auto smelting. I can't remember why. We do need magnesium for something. Oh yeah, we need the ore. We need the ore later for making titanium ingots, so I saved it up. Which might not be a good thing, I don't know. We'll see. So do I have night ore? I'm currently looking into making a enhanced collector crystal instead of rel like relying on Relays. Relays don't really help when you need like a, a big bunch of starlight and relays only help a little. And I think we need a lot of starlight right now. And I don't really have a good celestial crystal to make into a like proper make into a proper collector crystal. Like I would I would really like it to be 100% purity in size, but a bit pressed for time, so I want to set this up kind of quick. So to make these we need resonating gems, probably a lot of starlight too, so we'll wait for the night time. And ooh, stardust. I guess we had some extra stardust, that's good. Then we need this illumination powder, which I just made, we needed a night ore for that. That's why I was down there. And we'll do the one that's highest purity right now. And okay, would you at least indicate how much mana we need? Illumination powder. Oh, oh shit. This needs to be attuned, I'm fairly certain. Ah. I guess we're off to build an attunement altar then. What a rabbit hole. So to build the attunement altar we apparently need the spectral relay. So I'll use the one we had, giving us extra starlight. And okay, we need aquamarines. Oh, didn't I just use that last rock crystal? <laughs> this is gonna hurt. I'm just gonna use uh, use this one, I guess, the Celestial. That's not efficient at all, but we'll just do that because I'm low on the Rock Crystal. Most other packs I've played have added some additional like way of uh, obtaining Rock Crystals, so I'm feeling a bit starved compared to the other packs I've played with this stuff. Let's just hook this up. And what's wrong? What's wrong? Well, this dragon has not despawned. This dragon is alive. Oh. I should probably just get in there, I guess. Oh, it's so loud. Don't mind me, I'm just looking for rock crystals, I think. But can you die? And there's a bunch of other monsters here as well. Yeah, so much armor. What's up with that?
I mounted him. What? What the hell? I have no regeneration effect. Wait, is he? Is he tamed? Wait. Wait a minute. What did I do? And I need some sort of like bread. There we go. Much better. So, are you mad at us? Yeah, he's still kind of mad. Can I? Come on, can I regen health? I'll just bail for now. <laughs> I don't know if he drops anything good. I know we can get a dragon heart, but I just want my storm metal still. Go away. Oh, here it is. So. Uh, let's mine you up. Oh, and we were kind of lucky. Let's get the hell out of here. Okay, so what's the issue? The rock crystal type or... Of course we can make you now. Uh, maybe I'll replace those though, because that was... Celestial crystal, don't want to use that really. And... Let's do this. I think we'll put our tournament altar up here. So, where's that? It's a large one. And... Don't you like the snow? Yes, you don't. So it's quite large. Oh shit. Let me just grab this one. No, wrong charm. This charm. There we go. So... Hmm. Probably want this to go somewhere around here. You have one space on that side. Yeah. I think that's good as we're gonna get. I want it over here since it would block the starlight over there, I think. And let's get rid of the snow here so we can actually build this thing out. Hmm. All of it. <laughs> oh, it's actually hard to keep all of that snow in my inventory. There we go. Most of it is cleared. I couldn't really think of a better spot for this. There's not many flat surfaces around. Uh, so I think this is best for now. I, my original plan was to have it over there. But I think that's a bit cramped for space now. So how much do I have? Need marble arches again. Oh, that's a lot of arches. A bit too many arches. I'll need to grab my chisel and make some more. Maybe once. How are we? We are missing 12 sooty marbles, so I'll make need to make a few more of those crafts. Then it's chiseled, pillar, and ruined. It's not that many ruined though. We have the pillars, and I guess I'll just make one of these and those. One stack into pillars, and okay, I forgot the ruined. Let's just make a few ruined as well. Chisel. There we go. So, yeah, we just need to print this thing out, and that will take a while, so I'll see you in a bit. And the last one. I also need a looking scope because we can't actually attune to something before we know about the constellations, I'm pretty sure. So um, I was totally under the assumption I was gonna get the Master Infusion Stone today, but that might be a bit tricky. This altar is set up and we probably need, as I said, a telescope. Which, ah, guess. <laughs> That glass lens I kind of tore down uh, is going to come in handy. 
need to put the charm away. I was wondering why I didn't fall down. So, let's see. The lens. And ooh, we need planks. <laughs> I just ran out of planks, I think, in my system. Oh, it's only one. We might be okay. We have two. Yeah, it's one for each. <laughs> That's cutting it real close, actually. So that's then gold and sticks. Do I have sticks? Yeah, I do have some sticks. This isn't entirely impossible. And look at that, we need to wait for the night time. This is why I generally dislike doing like magic progression stuff on camera. Because there's often time gates in place that makes it hard to record. But we'll stick around a bit and Hopefully I can set up the telescope as well. Give you some more aquamarines. You're doing good. Good work. Okay, you're done. Then we need to prepare this recipe. Okay, something like this. Pick that up. And... Wet. Oh, it was missing just a bit of starlight. Didn't actually catch that. Telescope, and I wonder if we can stargaze through the snow. That would be kind of funny. Let's place you down. And do I have constellation papers yet? I think I should. I have a few, so we just need to find them. Mm. Let's see. I think I know this one. Is this a Vitas? Might be a Vitas. Ah. Wait, I'm probably pretty close. I'm just gonna check. Constellations. No, it's not Evitas, it's Amara. It's like a, it, it has like cat ears. I'm just gonna try again. And we'll attune that crystal later. Ah. And across. There we go. Amara. So that was pretty easy. This is... Uh, is this Evitas? I can't remember what the shape was. But I think it's... Oh, Evisio. So we have some basics here. One more. This is... I gotta check. This looks like Evitas this time. Wait, I gotta check. Is it... It's one down, then an axle or whatever. Like this off branch, this, then it's like two, okay. So we go to one down, two in that direction, then we go one down and split them. Oh, come on. Co come on. That's pretty close, right? Oof. I must have missed like my points a bit. Uh, come on. And oh, it's becoming daytime. This is hard. Oh, there we go. So close. So I might just have the time for the attunement, but then we gotta wrap up. Oh yeah. I think I need to wrap up anyhow, because I think we need... Oh yeah, we need more spectral relays to actually map that out. Like, I can show you what I mean. I just need my air charm again. Where's that? Nope. Same mistake, not the antidote charm, the air charm. Need an elevator here. Right, so let's pick out, for example, something we discovered, like Armara. Put it in our offhand here. And on this attunement altar multi block, we can see these bluish spots now all over here. And we need to put spectral relays on them so they connect the dots, kind of. Then you can attune stuff in the altar. But since I'm kind of like, I can make the glass lenses easier now, but still gotta make a few spectral relays to get this to work. So yeah, that's gonna have to be next episode. I did not expect this honestly, but yeah, Master Infusion Stone will be next episode. And we got some astral progression done, so I guess that's, uh, that's fine. 
Anyways, that's everything for this episode. A bit of a rough one since I had to run in circles to gather more starlight, but okay, I'll think we'll be there next episode and can assemble the Master Infusion Crystal. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you really enjoyed the episode, you can hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching, take care and stay funky!